Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of our bus build. So this week we're going to be taking on rust and sort of corrosion. There's definitely a lot of rust on this bus that needs treating. Uh, there's definitely a lot of corrosion on this bus that needs cutting out. So what we'll do is see what we got. If it's really gone, we'll cut it out. If it's not too bad, we'll just treat it and paint it. So yeah, let's see what we got. Let's get into it. As I said earlier, we're going to be dealing with rust. Um, I started tackling this already. Um, what I've done is cut majority of the floor out because we just found it's going to be a lot easier to cut more back rather than just trying to patch in things. Plus, we don't really know what we're dealing with under the bus, so some things might need replacing. So what I'll do is swing the car around and show you what we've done so far. And so, as you can see, we've pretty much cut the whole section of the flooring out. What I will be doing is removing this section over here, this, and then this whole beam that runs the width of the bus, we will be replacing that and basically be cutting a whole new piece of sheet metal into the flooring. So that's going to be on today's agenda. So guys, we're about halfway through. Oh, hang on. So guys, so guys, we're about halfway through cutting this uh, bus floor out. And basically what I've done so far, it's got about halfway across the width of the bus and it's gone all right. It's a bit difficult in places, but it's working out. But what I'm just gonna say is what we're actually doing. So the width of the bus, you've got a bit of box section, which goes from side to side. And then you've got the original flooring which comes along down, butts up against that bit of box section and is welded together there. What I've discovered upon moving the floor is pretty much the whole floor in that area behind the driver's seat has completely rusted away. So I've cut away the floor, the panelling, and then I'm left with part of the L section that was part in the fold from the machine and the box section is there. I've decided to take the lot out because down this bottom corner here where the step is, I can put my finger up through the bottom of the box section. And also over here, this is what the box section looks like. Bear in mind, that is supposed to be solid along there and along there. That is completely corroded away and just fell into the floor and it's gone. So the original floor is probably about two mil thick, two, three mil, not entirely sure. And now you can see from do 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 do. I got lots of this here. So this here is roughly the thickness of a pound coin, if not two pound coins stacked together. And that is just layers of the rust just bubbling up and just creating layers and layers of corrosion. And also look, bit of box section bit of the original floor completely rusted right through and just it's no point having that stuff in the bus especially if you're putting plowing money into it you want a solid foundation to build off of and look at that one look box section gone so gone look at that rust so we cut it all out I'm about halfway through and yeah let's keep going <laughs> I've pretty much finished cutting up the old floor in the front of the bus. The, one of the most difficult parts was around the stairwell because where the stairwell come up and lapped over the existing floor and had been welded, all the three layers of steel sort of just blended together become one giant thick one. So that was pretty difficult. So all the old box section is out, all the old bit of return from the floor is out and I'm left with what kind of looks like, you know, from earlier, but there is pieces missing. So as you can see, there used to be from here, that corner right in there, all the way along, but up against them, all the way along, and then buttered up against this, up against that, resting on these, all the way into that corner over there, there used to be a piece of box section and then the original flooring folded down onto that box section. So that's all gone, all out. It's not prepped because I need to get rid of any surface rust and any just 
ghastly knobs and welds and stuff that actually needs to be taken off. So I'm pretty pleased that I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to jump up by the wheel arch now and get a crack on that one. Have a cut back and see what we've got going on. Time we get up here. I've been chatting to somebody regarding our wheel wells and what I'm going to be doing is cutting quite a bit out. I'll try and show you that now. Oh, so basically what I'm planning to do is I'm going to cut up here. And then I'll cut up here and I'll remove that whole section of wall there so then it allows me to get in there and repair my wheel well. So that's pretty cool, not great fun. Don't particularly want to be cutting more out than I need to as ever but in the long run it's probably the best thing to do because we just, you know, it is just better to have a nice solid foundation to build off of. At the end of the day, we'll only benefit from it, so let's just crack on. So what I have done now is actually cut away the whole wheel arch. Not what I was intending, but it just came down to it really that I thought it'd be easier because I, what, I've, what has happened is here, all this here is part of the wheel arch. And that was sat inside of the walls, per se, in the inside cavity. So all that rusted right down through. And the only way I can think of repairing it is either taking the bus up in the air, taking the wheels off, getting up under the bus, or taking the wheel arch out and going that way around it. So that's what I'd done. Also, saw on a thread, some guy messaged me and said he actually lowered his wheel arches by half the height. So probably going to try and get that a go because that'd be really good, especially if we can come up two inches with the insulation, come down half the height of the wheel arch. It'll give us really, really next to no wheel arch in the build. So that's really exciting. Um, going to keep cracking on and cutting away. Just yeah, love cutting stuff. What's up, guys? So I've been giving it a lot of thought on what to do with my wheel wells over the past couple of days. I haven't been at the bus. I took a couple of days off. And basically, I think we're going to go for it. I think we're going to lower them by at least two to three inches. So once we've lowered them, we'll still have about seven inches of clearance when the suspension's down. And then when the ride height is up, we'd have about 10 inches of clearance. So I still think that's enough clearance to do it. That's if we drop it by three inches. So I'm going to get on, start cutting this sucker out. I'll get that out. So yesterday I was supposed to be grinding the floor down, uh, getting rid of all that surface rust, but it really did not go too well. There's a lot of surface rust and I just have a tiny little four and a half inch grinder. I've got basically 20 square meters of this stuff to get rid of. So I started pondering, having to think, because I like doing work, don't get me wrong, but I do not like a lot of manual effort manual labor that requires a lot a lot of effort like meticulously just going mundane and mundane so if there's a way to make the process quicker i will do that i don't mind paying a bit more to get it done because that's me so basically what i come up with was this beautiful thing yes we hired an industrial floor sander to get rid of this stuff so i got a lot of 40 grit rolls to put on this thing so what I'm going to do now is make sure there is nothing sticking up through this floor. No little nails, no little anything, just because that will tear the paper and I'll be going through paper like no one's business. So this is going to be interesting. Let's get going. And after a day of sanding this bus down, it's definitely made a lot of difference. But the thing is, what i got to do now is sweep or vacuum up because there is just 
orange dust absolutely everywhere. I mean, look at the cab. Just look. <laughs> look. Look at all this. This is just going to be an absolute nightmare to clean. But, I don't know. I'm glad I got the sand there because it really just ripped the floor up and it's what we wanted. And now we can crack on with some treatment. We're going to be welding soon this weekend. So that's going to be good. Catch you in a bit. What I'm going to do is basically this little piece here of uh, whatever that is. I'm going to try and take that down and see what's going on in there because when it was raining the other day, I noticed we had quite a bit of uh, leaks going on over here. So we don't want that. So I'm going to get to that now, do a little time lapse and let's go. just done is applied a rust converter down to the floor it's fairly easy just pour it out brush it around make sure it gets in the grooves um, I've got a bit carried away if I'm honest as you can see I don't know if you can see I sort of left half of my tools down there and haven't rust treated that bit of the floor yet so what I'll do now is I'll just bring everything up here and stack it behind me in the corner and then I will treat that little bit area down there um, Saturday is going to be welding day, it's Thursday today, so hopefully Saturday will get that main area down there by the driver's seat all welded in. That would be really cool and then hopefully I'll have enough confidence to crack on with welding by myself and enough an idea of what to do with these wheel arches and then I can get welding with that. And then once everything's welded, rust treated, rust converted, rust painted, I just finally start putting things into the bus start insulating the floor, get our subfloor down, and then we can start building it up. And that's the exciting stuff. That's gonna be the good bit. This is just pain in the ass, but needs to be done. It's a foundation, it needs to be right, and that's it. So thanks for sticking with me during this one, and I'll catch you next time.